morning because it is morning and it is the first day of my vacation. It's a little bit of a crazy day because I actually stopped work this morning. I have to go in for a half day. I am actually headed to take Jay to the kennel, dropping him off before work, and then I'm going to stop and get me some Dunkin' Donuts because it is going to be a long travel day. Um, and then I'm headed into work. Um, and then later today, we will be headed to the airport. So I did the majority of my packing last night. Everything is packed. I think Carl still has to do some packing. But I also the day before deep clean my house. I know I cannot be the only person out there that like just feels a need to deep clean their house before they go on vacation. So I came home from work and literally scrubbed the house until uh, midnight. But I know it's gonna be worth it because when we come home from vacation, all relaxed and rejuvenated, we're just gonna love coming into a clean home. It's just gonna be really good. Really excited, headed to the airport later today around four ready to kick off this vacation. We'll send Jay off on his little vacation. Tell him bye. Hopefully he has a great time. I know he always does come back exhausted. Carrie is already starting her vacation. She's in Alabama with my in-laws. So we dropped her off on Sunday. So they've been having a fun film week there. I'll check back in with you. Probably after I get the coffee and uh, wake up. All right. All right, y'all. I feel like I look super tired, but it was a long night. Anyway, just wanted to check in. Got my Dunkin', but like I said, it's travel day and I'm really excited and I need the extra caffeine. So I am going to do a half day, work till 12, and then we're headed to the airport. So I'll check back in then. All right, y'all. I have just gotten off of work and I'm actually happy today. It was kind of a, a half day because man, it was already kind of a rough day. But did my little half a day and now I'm headed back home. I'm going to hop in the shower. Bags are already packed, so shower, change, and then we will be off to the airport. So ready for this vacation. Ready to see what it has in store. So I'll just keep bringing y'all along. All right, y'all, we are headed to the airport. your Bible. <laughs> That's good. I got to keep Bible study up during uh, vacation. Okay, so we're in the airport. What are we going to get? We're going to chicken and beer. We're leaving our gate. We're going to find some food for the flight. Knows where he's going because he was here last week. Going to uh, chicken and beer, ludicrous restaurant. Taylor's first time. You excited? Yeah, I'm excited. I'm hungry. I'm hungry too. We came to a whole different terminal to get this restaurant. Fido the drugs, different dog, really good looking German Shepherd. It smells delicious in here. It smells so good in here. Okay, so first stop, we just got on the ship and there is no line. So we came to the Java Blue coffee shop before we go to our muster station. And they actually have spiked coffee, like the best of all both worlds. So that is perfect. I'm just gonna try one. I don't like coffee like that. It smells delicious in here, but I heard the lines can get pretty busy. So I'm glad that we came early, we get to taste and try it out before it gets too crowded. He's not very happy. 
happy. But what happened was we checked in for our mustard station drill. That's the first thing we did on the ship. However, the system is down, so they cannot check us in, which means we cannot get drink. But we paid for this really expensive drink package. We did. And we feel like we should be able to drink. So we are in guest services to try and resolve the issue. Because we actually, in fact, did our mustard drill. The system is just down, so they can't check us in. We're going to figure it out, and we're going to let y'all know the resolution of our problem. I'm having this drink. I already started it, so sorry about that. But I have a picture of it when before I started it. Anyway, I just want to talk about these drinkable or edible straws. Mm -hmm. It's the only place I found them on the ship. They're at the Java. The, I've got to find the right name for the restaurant. But anyway, Java Coffee, something like that. It does come with your drink package. And this has been my favorite drink of the cruise. I added, I always add Appleton rum, the white chocolate caramel blended frappuccino with Appleton rum. And so yeah, I just really wanted to come and talk about this edible straw interesting kind of tasty a little bit but yeah there are no regular plastic straws on the ship anymore so either you get an edible straw or you get those paper straws that start to disintegrate within a couple of minutes of having them so if you are serious about your straws you should definitely bring your own straw on the ship mm -hmm. 